Hi, my name is Zendi and I'm a freediving instructor based in Johannesburg. The work that I do when I'm not doing freediving is I do diversity and inclusion work. All that means is that I help schools and corporates um, dialogue around the hard discussions, so be it gender or race or the many things that can happen in the workplace. Um, I'm 31 years old and I'm recently plant-based and I'm absolutely loving it. But we're here to talk about the ocean, so let's tuck in. In 2016, I went on a snorkel trip and it was just fantastic because I went from freaking out thinking I was drowning to being at the bottom of the ocean with a dive master picking up shells. And it was just such an incredible space. I had never been that far out to sea before. And it was just, it was something like I'd never ever experienced. And um, so that was that. I come back into the country and I do my discover scuba diving and I do all of my certifications into scuba diving in the two years that follow. And I'll never forget coming across this, this video of these three girls that are diving at the bottom of the ocean and they're diving with this tiger shark, but they didn't have any air on them. So there's like no bubbles anywhere and they're just having the time of their lives. And I figured, what the hell is going on here? Um, and with research, I realized that that was free diving. I started holding my breath and just creating space. And a few months later, I came across a free diving instructor. And on my free diving course, on my first free diving course, I knew that I loved scuba diving and I loved free diving. So I have been scuba diving for about four years now. And and I love scuba diving just because you have time underwater to observe all of the marine life, to be, you know, to be wooed by everything that's in the water. And free diving is different in that your dives are way shorter, but they are also so much more intense. Um, so I love free diving for the simplicity, but also just the incredible place that you go with every single dive. And um, recently I got asked which was my favorite part, the descent or the ascent. And I was just saying I absolutely love the free fall. It's, and for me, I've probably come to love the free fall because it took me a long time to get comfortable into it. I created a brand that's called The Black Mermaid and The Black Mermaid holds two parts to it. So it's The Black Mermaid Foundation and it's The Black Mermaid Store. The Black Mermaid Foundation has a focus on getting school learners to learn how to free dive and to get comfortable in water and essentially it's greater work to try and get more black and brown people into ocean based careers and ocean based sports because essentially once you're able to address the fear that everyone holds you kind of change the way that they look at things and they start to dream differently so that's one and then the black mermaid store is to increase physical representation so growing up i never saw people around me who looked like me who dived so even on scuba diving trips i was often the only you know, black person on the trip that is on the boat to dive. So, and I thought, you know, there's room to create the dream and to help little people dream. So then I created Luanle Nkanyezi. So that's Luanle and that's Nkanyezi. And they are an opportunity for us to increase representation because I mean, there's divers coming up everywhere across the world, which is fantastic. But it's just to help create space for dreams to live and take shape. So I love that we can just do some of the representation work through that, but also through the merchandise that's in the store. I feel there's an importance to normalize black and brown people as water people as well. So, and, and I think in changing that perspective, then even when underwater opportunities, be it for film or incredible projects come up, then people are able to say, hey, are there other you know, people that we can look at? Can we diversify the people that we're looking at for this work? Which I think is incredible because that's how we change narratives. And that's how we change space. It's a fantastic thing that we have an opportunity to do. 
and I kind of figured I'd always waited on someone else to do it and I decided I would be the person who does it, which is exciting. <laughs>